What's going on guys, today I bring you an exclusive look at the farm social space from Destiny 2 courtesy of IGN. Their website and YouTube channel can be found linked in the video description so do check them out. Some interesting things to discuss in this video from the footage but before we actually start, guys if you do enjoy it leaving a like is much much appreciated on my behalf. Okay so the new social space within Destiny 2 is on a farm if you didn't already know. And from today's video from IGN we see more of it and we see some interesting things to talk about like returning characters, some characters that don't seem to be here, we also see the football field and we also get to speculate on many many more things. So let's get into it. Now I can tell you guys we have a new postmaster by the name of Darby so it seems as though the old postmaster as we know him in the tower now was killed in the attack by the Red Legion. We also see the Cryptarch returning in the form of Tara Khan. So what actually happened to the Cryptarch? Was the Blue Bastard killed in the attack on the tower? Let's hope so. It's also important to mention the fact Bungie State during this IGN video that Tara Khan made it, basically confirming the fact that the Iron Temple was attacked too, but not going any further into the actual details of it. I recognize this character. Tara Khan, she made it. Mm -hmm. She survived, she's here to help you out which we haven't heard anything of from Bungie up until this point. So the Iron Temple seems as though was attacked too. Now it is important to speculate on what vendors we see here within the farm to get a kind of picture of how Destiny 2 and our role as a day one guardian will go. We don't see any Vanguard vendor here but I'm guessing this build of the farm is set before we do the quests in Finding Savala, Cade and Ikora. After they have been found, maybe they return here, maybe we get a quick link to them, or maybe we get a new Vanguard vendor. To say we won't have a Vanguard vendor within Destiny 2 is kind of silly, so I'm guessing we will get one somehow or another. To say how though for sure now, would be guessing. We also don't see a gunsmith here, but we know for sure there will be a gunsmith within the game. Whether he isn't here at the moment or we just don't get to see him in this footage, we don't know. This picture from a while back from Messer Sean confirms a gunsmith role within Destiny 2. We also don't see any faction vendor in terms of Future War Cult, New Monarchy or Dead Orbit but again we see their armors within the game, maybe we'll get new quests to locate new vendors for these factions, that would be pretty cool, maybe we will learn more about these factions in the meantime too, that would be pretty epic. We also don't see Amanda Holiday or Eva Levante, now we all know who Amanda Holiday is who offers ships within the tower now and when it actually pans to the mini hangout within the social space here on Destiny 2 of the farm we don't see Amanda Holiday there but again I will be guessing in staying they were killed during the attack on the tower and like I said due to there seemingly being no hood within this footage from IGN we don't know how many vendors are actually here to be honest this footage of the farm leaves us with more questions than answers now the farm does seem like on a size between the Iron Temple and the tower so it's a decent size and it holds up to 26 guardians at the same time which is pretty cool. Now one of the best new features of the farm is the football field or soccer field as some of you people may call it but it is actually a football field because you play with a ball and you kick it with your feet so it's a football field you don't run around with it in your hands. So who needs FIFA now? Destiny 2 has all of that covered so you may as well cancel them pre-orders for the next FIFA game because Destiny 2 has you covered. Now when they actually pan to the mini hangar which we see they talk about this place being a place where they're rebuilding ships, sparrows and weapons lost in the city when it was destroyed. But something really interesting, definitely worth mentioning is the fact they say that vendors will be coming and going via this mini hangar, which leaves us with a load of questions. Who are these vendors? What will they offer? They actually say nothing more on the matter. Um, so this is humanity trying to recover from the Cabal, destroying the city. So they're rebuilding ships, rebuilding sparrows, weapons. Um, you'll see other vendors and activities come and go through this space. But they do say that there will be new vendors coming and going, so it's really interesting. Now other than that guys, there isn't much to talk about in terms of things we've learned, which I haven't already mentioned, besides one more thing, but this is speculation on my behalf. At the end of the video they make it clear they are trying to hint at this ship in the distance, in my opinion they do anyway and we all know about Bungie and their secret hints. Yes I know it's kind of in front of the shard and during the trailer they actually mentioned the shard but look at that ship. I actually think we are looking at a kind of resupply ship here which may offer armor and weapons to us as guardians. They mentioned new vendors will be coming and going to this farm. Is this how? I'm guessing we'll find out soon. I can't quite see what that logo is on the side of that ship but yes in my opinion it may be kind of a resupply ship which we will need seeing as our city was destroyed. But yes guys, that is it for the video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do hit that like button, I do appreciate the support. Tell me what you think about this down below in that comment section, this new social space. Tell me if you spotted something during the trailer which I missed, that would be badass too. But thanks for stopping by as always guys and I will catch you on that next one.